This is a General Electric refrigerator and it is a 1946 model. So it is old and heavy, but it is awesome. It's got What's up everybody? Tim here at Higgs Garage. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to tackle this, or I should say tonight. It's been a long day already, but we're gonna tackle this fridge. I have new wiring, a new relay, and a new thermostat for this thing. It's hopefully, it's in really good shape. I'm hoping that that's all it needs. It's not wanting to turn on. However, I did, let me open it up for you guys. I did take it apart a little bit already and this original thermostat, when I made the contacts or closed that circuit manually, the compressor did kick on. So I think that that's all it really needed, but the wiring in this thing is really bad. It's actually got some blue ooze coming out of it. After some long research online, some Facebook groups, some really helpful people, come to find out that there is a reaction inside of that old wiring that caused it to corrode. And that's when that, that's what that blue ooze is. So really needs to be all the way rewired. So we have that, we have all new wiring. We have the new thermostat, I've already kind of placed it in here. Really easy, it was just two screws. The other one is still attached, so you guys didn't miss anything on that. I just wanted to make sure it fit. We have an updated relay, so we'll wire that in. We have a new plug, and over there on the other, on the workbench, we have all new wiring. So we're gonna go ahead take this thing apart, get all this old wiring out, rewire everything, put in the new, uh, wire up the new thermostat, put in the new relay, hopefully it fires up. And then we have some awesome paint scheme that is gonna go on this. So we're gonna repaint it. It is going to be a shop fridge. And the theme that we're gonna go with is gonna be a secret. So you guys will just stick around for that. But let's dive right in. Let's take this thing apart. Let's try to get this wiring out of it and try to get our new wiring all fished in and soldered up and see if this thing works. So this is what the back looks like. You can see our wire just goes right through into the freezer. You can see the light coming through there. And then it goes down over to our relay. However, coming up, we have one that splits off and then one up here, oops, sorry, that splits off and goes. So I'm thinking one goes over here, one goes over on here. One of them is our light Go around the front and check out what we got going on. So we have our light up here. And the other is gonna be our switch for the light, turning it on and off. So this is where the one wire is going. It's coming up to the light. And then we have the other one. What you can see. One. So there we go. So, okay. Now, Fun part is how to get to that switch through all that insulation. All right, I'm gonna set you guys back up. I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna get to that switch and how I'm gonna, we're gonna run all this new wire on here. It's really easy, it's just kind of hard to get to those two things. Well, basically one thing, everything else is just right here.
It is a Supco R081. And this is what it looks like. It had another wire running through the bottom here. And right there, the letter C. And it just runs straight through. You just pull that one out so you, you don't need it for this. Well, on my fridge, I'm not going to need it. So uh, I have this. Now I'm going to go ahead and see how I'm going to tackle this wiring from here. So I'm going to set you guys back up and we're going to continue on. So we decided, we as in me, I'm going to order a, just a whole new button for this. So hopefully we'll have that in a day or two. And then we have our new wiring coming up to our thermostat. We're going to pull the wiring diagram up here in just a second to make sure we get this wired correctly. We have our light back here. I went ahead, took this apart, and soldered new wiring inside of it. And brought it out here. We connected it. We connected um, one end of it to our switch button. And here's our old wire. Try to step back and show you guys. So, here's our old wire right here. It runs down. That's where it was, the plug and everything was down there. So, these two run up into the thermostat. The other one tees off and connects to the, the thermostat. So really, this would have been like this. But it splits off and, that's, and it connects to our button. So this would run to our button. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, this is difficult. This is painful. And then here's another little one and that went to our light. So... We need to make that happen out of this wire here and these ones here. And then once we get down lower, we can put our plug on to our relay and our compressor. So that's what's next. I will try to show you guys. So here's, here's our light. It's wired up one side of the button. This other side of the button is going to be running up into... The thermostat like this ah it'll be running up in there but it's going to actually be attached to our new wire like this if that makes any sense it's really hard for me to film it with one hand and show you guys and try to be pulling the wiring diagram up so i'm trying to do the best i can for you guys all right everybody we are back on the fridge it is a couple days later and I have some good news, and I'm sorry you guys did not get to see it all, but I will go over it with you. So, we got the fridge finished up as far as wiring goes. We still have the door off. We have the little kick panel off over there. We have a box of insulation and stuff, but the fridge is working. So, we to go over everything we did, we installed a new door button that turns our light on and off. We have a new thermostat. That is trash. And the reason it is trash, guys, I'm an idiot. It was much longer than the original, and I clipped the end off right where the original one would have been. Well, that's gas filled, come to find out, and needs to be all one piece. So I ruined it. Um, I have the compressor to make sure all of our wiring is working properly, run on this fuse right now. So it is set up, it is running, it is cooling. You guys can. I don't know if you can see, but it's cooling. It's really warm and humid here in Missouri. So you can see all of the moisture on my hand, but it's ice cold in there. We have to put things back together. So we need to put our insulation back in here, put our panel back on and put our hole back on. We ran all new wiring, rewired everything and it looked kind of like a mess, but I just tried to zip tie it up out of the way. And listen how quiet it is. It's awesome. It is awesome. I am so excited. I'm so happy that the compressor works, that everything on it is working as it should. That means now we will get to get to sanding on this thing. There are no dents that I have seen yet that need filling. So hopefully we're good there. We do need to remove, uh, we'll be polishing this handle and everything, but we'll remove this badge off of here 
and try to clean it up and we will be reapplying it. Get the inside cleaned out, get everything prepped and we will be painting this thing. That will be another video, but I think you guys are gonna really like the scheme. I want to sh share with you the, the learning experience that I had with this refrigerator. So I'm going to try to hand draw some diagrams or figure out a way. I'll be posting them up here in just a minute. Um, that way you guys can look and see how I wired this since I did not capture it all on video. It was really hard to do. It was in kind of, it was down here in a tight space and I needed my phone. Um, I know that there was other options. I could have printed off the diagram I had on my phone, but I didn't, I needed my phone. So going back and forth just wasn't working. I do have a new camera. I haven't mastered it yet. So I'm sorry. I didn't get everything on video guys, but I will go over like I said, leave the wiring diagram that I can um, I'll hand draw. And like I said, I don't know what it applied to. This is a 1946 uh, GE Space Saver, I believe is what it is. And I, I may be wrong, but I, that's what I'm almost 100% positive that it is. So I don't know what all this wiring diagram may fit application-wise. I don't know a lot about these old refrigerators. This was a complete learning experience for me. Um, but I am very, very thankful to David Allen. I met him on a vintage appliance Facebook group and without him, I would never have been able to figure this out. And I know it's simple, but it's just nothing that I've ever worked on before. And it, it was intimidating to me. So I'm very thankful for him. So thank you so much, David. And like I said, I will leave the wiring diagram. I will try to draw a cleaned up version of what I have and leave it up for you guys. And um, the parts that I used, uh, I'll link in the description. As far as thermostat, uh, I got the wiring from Lowe's, uh, the buttons I got from Amazon for the door, the relay I got from, an, the re relay and thermostat, like I said, I got those from a different website. I will leave everything in the description so you guys can use those parts if they fit your application uh, along with my wiring diagram. Really quick, I will go over and show you, kind of, I'll try to go over and show you in this video what is wired and how it's wired. So let me flip you guys around. So I'm going to start here at this door button. There's the two, there's two wires coming off of it and my colors are not going to be correct. This is cause like I said, I got this wire at Lowe's. So that wire is coming out right here. Um, I have a green and a white coming out. This green goes down into my light. The light is in there. And then the white is going to go up in here. And I'll show you in a second. Now, the other part of the light is black, and that is also going up right into the back of the freezer behind where the thermostat is. So we'll go over here. So in this wire loom that I have in here, wow, you can see it's already building up frost. There's my white and my black. Okay, I unplugged it. Give me a second, guys. Let me stop this and try to, I'm gonna unplug the fridge so I'm not messing with this. Give me one second. All right, back to it. We got the fridge unplugged, so I don't, I don't wanna short anything. I'm not trying to mess this up. All right, so we have our black one right here and our white one. I know they're zip tied together, sorry guys. So the white one is meeting and connecting with the black one from the main harness, not the light harness. So there's a white one that's coming from the back with the light and the button. That is meeting with this black one from our main harness. And then uh, the other, the black one coming from that light is into the main harness, the green. Okay, so we have two coming in from the light on one end and the button switch on the other end. They're both coming in. The one is connecting to green on this main, I'm calling it the main, but the main harness here. And the other one is connecting to this black, it's coming into the black harness or connecting with the black wire in the main harness. So the white and then the black from the main harness connecting into one and that's plugging into the thermostat. And this other white one from the main harness, not from our two coming in, but this is white from the main harness also connecting to the thermostat. So those will both connect to the thermostat. Doesn't matter which side. Thermostat right here is the red block. Doesn't matter, but they're both gonna go on there. Go back. 
So you have your, your main wire that you plug into your wall that comes in. There's a ground, which is gonna be the middle. The one right here is ground. And it's kind of got a green sheath. So that is just grounded straight to the compressor. And then on either side, you're gonna have a wide side and a narrow side. And the wide side is going to be neutral and the narrow side will be live. Now, when you're looking at this plug, they both look the same. Well, that's because it has a ground prong here. So you can't put this plug any other way but one way. So if this did not have that prong, then it would this side would be wider than this side. And you can see there's a W. And I'm guessing that that's what that would mean on here. I'm not an electrical cord expert or anything, but this side is the wide side. And you can look, if your cord has not got three prongs or anything like that, uh, it's just got the two, you can tell. And if for some reason one is not, you can look at your outlet. And one side of your outlet is gonna actually be longer, wider than the other side. So wide side is neutral, narrow side is live, and the middle is ground. So we have our ground here, the middle wire is grounded on the pump. And then our live side, and another way you can tell in your wires, if it's three like this, one side is smooth and the other side is got grooves on it. You'll feel them or see them. So the groove side is going to be your neutral side and the smooth side will be your live side. So live is gonna go right into the black from our main harness. The other side, the neutral side, will meet the green wire from our main harness and the black from our pump, our compressor, excuse me. Now that leaves us with our relay. Now you have two extra, two other wires coming out of your compressor. On this case, it's blue and white. The blue is going to connect to the red, so blue to the red on our relay. The white one is going to connect to the white, and then our main harness white wire will connect to the black. So you guys kind of can see. And like I said, I'm going to draw a diagram. I'll leave it in here. For you guys, you guys can pause it, rewatch the video, whatever you need to do if you need to try to trace this diagram and use the same wiring diagram or schematic that I did on this refrigerator. So I hope that that helps and you guys can get something out of it. And if you have the same project, it's something useful for you guys to reference. With all that being said, guys, I am so glad that this thing works. It is super cool, super quiet. It gets cold actually really fast. And I am excited to get this thing painted to match our tractor. So as you know, we're working on the Jubilee. It is back here. We have a bunch of parts ready to go in the video you guys will be seeing. We are actually getting ready to be painting the, um, uh, right here, our hydraulic pump. It goes on the side of the tractor. Sorry, it's hard to do. There we go. Somewhere right there. Getting that thing painted up. So that will be a video coming out showing that pump rebuild. Um, and then we will also have painting the fridge. The fridge will be painted, like I just said, to match the theme of the tractor. It is a 46, I think, um, what we found out on this fridge, 1946. And uh, Jubilee is a 53. So, you know, a little off, but the Ford tractor theme or the colors then were the red and gray. So it still would match. Um, for what would have been a nine in nine in whatever nine in two in eight in whatever it would have been in the 46 um can't think right now it would have been red and gray so the fridge is going to match that theme red and gray as of right now unless something changes so it'll be red and gray and we're going to use it here in the shop so stay tuned for that guys thank you all so much for watching and if, remember if you like this content be sure to hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out uh, when growing, uh, has been um, amazing with you guys. We've already reached as of today, I think we're at like six, 14 or 15, 614, 615 subscribers, which is awesome. We do need to hit our 1000 subscriber mark by November, or at least that's our goal. I mean, if, if it doesn't, we're just going to keep on pushing, but it would be awesome to meet that goal by November. So thank you all so much again for watching. Be on the lookout for the next video where we're prepping this thing, getting this thing painted, and going to have a totally awesome fridge here in the shop. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.